Nigerians and welcome to another episode of Entertainment News. So today I'm going to be talking about a topic that could be controversial. Some people could think it is a norm though. I will be talking about cheating in the entertainment industry among either the male or the female folk because it's like it's 2021 like someone said just this morning cheating is something that is normal everybody does it this person does that and all of those things seeing as Quavo and Soweti actually broke up in the course of the week and then our own baby decided that it wants to be everyone else's baby and now that is even a daddy it wants to be daddy to everybody it's like okay if you want to cheat there are some things you should know there are some cheating etiquettes so i'm shining the spotlight on the one and the only ag baby is now well everyone's baby welcome back to this channel if this is your first time here do well to subscribe to this channel go through our content like our videos i'm sure you'll be glued to your screen and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming it means the world to me anyways let's get right into it let's talk about adekunle gold and this new story that just sprung up on all of us very surprisingly because according to what everybody's saying and reactions that has been trending people are like it can't be our own ag baby he's devoted to mommy jerry like what the heck is he looking for but then reports have it that while Simi was pregnant with their daughter in 29 in 2020 rather he decided that he needed to go test the water somewhere else maybe Simi was not putting up but whatever reason he might have had he decided that he did not want to even do it with any other person but Simi's friend a certain Simi Nikon who is an Instagram model and video vixen in fact she was a vixen for in one of the videos for his most recent album and report added that while they were on set actually filming for that particular video they had sex in his car and people were there to witness it i'm not the one saying this so before you come for me it is reports it is what everybody is saying it is what is in the news that is happening although adekule god is not saying anything but it looks like his marriage of two years is been tested because according to recent posts of Simi on social media, she's just like, okay, I'm here minding my business. I'm not going to respond to whatever. She's putting it, you know, in parables. She's not being clear, but people are like, okay, this is getting to Simi. I think good needs to say something about it. They started, they got married in 2019 after about five years of dating. He's been really sweet with her. He's shown his commitment. They are videos together. Everything has Apparently on social media, I'd be very cool with these guys. But then I think go decided that no, he wants to go and do someone else. And it's like, if you want to do it, there are some etiquettes. Ask your bosses, ask your friends who do this to their wives, how they're able to do it. And not even with Nice's episode in 2020 where he decided to go all PR, have a have background music, cost. <laughs> that was actually the height of every, every silly thing that could happen when you're embarrassing your woman in public. But I'm glad I like the way Adekunle Goat's PR is going because now there are several bloggers coming out. There are celebrity figures, influencers coming everywhere to defend him, saying, no, this is not the Adekunle Goat we know. This blogger's repute is not proven. She was the same person that said that Banky W was cheating on Adesua, he told me, just before the birth of their child. She even insinuated that Omotola Jalaje was having an affair with Adam Soshiomole. And none of these allegations proved to be true. But however, she was also the one that told us Nice was sleeping with someone else. And it became the truth. And when Don Kamaiti's Buraha, his wife, wanted it to happen, she was the first person to actually break this news. And then it's like, hello, it's true. So it's like... Is this PR stunts on Adekule's part, trying to get influencers and so many other people to debunk the news? But let me quickly just round this up and give you guys some hints. If you decide that you want to cheat on your spouse, that cheating on your partner is well, your destiny, you just want to be a scum. Number one, please do not leave evidence. It's enough that you even have text evidence. What is wrong with you? Why would you have text evidence? Put it in your memory. Because you have a partner you can be doing everything you want to do. I don't understand why you need text or video. Video evidence is even the most stupid of all things. Sex in a car and it's been videotaped. Do you want to be a porn star? No. What's, what is the intention? Number two, ask yourself the why. 
why must I absolutely cheat on my partner? Is this something that is in fact is something that is wrong with you? It is not something on the part of your of the other person. It's just somebody who do not lack who lacks rather integrity in themselves. So ask yourself the why. Am I just a cheating cheater? Do I have a problem? Is my wife or my husband not doing something good enough for me? Then have that conversation with them. Number three, you then decide if monogamy is not for you. Because apparently it's 2021, it's the newest century, and monogamy is no longer the norm. Several things are coming up, open relationship everywhere. Discuss with your partner if you've decided that it's open relationship you want. It's, it goes two ways. Either your partner is low-key into it, and you guys have an open relationship where nobody's lying to anybody, and when any of your, you know, any of your stories leak online, either of the parties, none of you are surprised by because it's something you both know. She is doing someone else. You are doing someone else. In fact, you can even have a third party in your relationship. People do it now, actually, if you are not aware. Husband and wife, they are together. Then they have either a boyfriend or a girlfriend that is dating both of them at the same time. So like they have a third, a third person in their relationship. If that is what you guys want, you could do it. Or your wife could, or your husband could be like, what the heck is wrong with you? And then dump your ass. Either way, you no longer have to lie to the person you claim you love. I mean, I feel like that's enough. But if you cannot do that and you can afford to do it, keep the person in another continent. Keep the person in another state, not even another street. Another state. Let the person be in another world so that the two worlds do not have to meet. Have different families. And when you die, leave them to worry about what will happen to themselves or what will happen to your body when you are dead. I mean, you are not here. So the best to all of them. My last tip, if none of this is going to work for you, just leave now. Do you have to be with somebody? Because I do not understand why you'd want to take and make someone else go through as much pain as they would when they realize you're not faithful to them. I feel like unfaithfulness and infidelity is one of the biggest deal breakers ever. And it's just alarming how it is now the norm. Okay, I'm not here to project my own view, so whatever works for you, if it works for you, but then let's circle back to adequately good. Let's talk about adequately good. What do you guys think of this story? Because the internet is actually ablaze. So many people are on his side. Although I think that's PR stunt because Simi is not saying anything and neither of them are saying anything. And it's like, okay, are you sure this is not something both parties are aware of? Because the, the new laid back version of adequately good that we actually have now, I really do not think is going to be surprising if we realize that their relationship is actually open and both of them know what is happening. I mean, there are celebrities, there's temptation everywhere. For him to even be doing his wife's friend, it's just that probably she's aware of it. I mean, there have been situations where the partner is cheating and the other person is aware and decides to either shut up or face them and you have an adult conversation about it. And that way, we get to keep ourselves out of their mess because you really do not have to be involved with all the messes that go on in these people's life now. Enough of all the gist now. Today, you're hearing that this person is sleeping with this person. Not to talk about actresses. There's always one story on social media about them cheating on their significant other or, or being side chick to some other men, married men, influential men in the society. I'm like, you don't have to drag us into your messes, right? We're just spectators, but well, if they don't drag us, what then do I get to talk about? So please, yes, continue philandering everywhere. Continue spreading your clothes and your leanness everywhere. I don't mind, personally don't mind. It's actually very entertaining as well as sad to talk about or hear about, but none of us are complaining. What do you think about the Ola de Kule Good and Simi situation? Do you think it's just cloud chasing and because, you know, internet has been dry for the past few days now, there hasn't been stories popping or stories are popping and they are dying. Our government is playing table tennis with our lives and our emotions. Do you think it's just clout and lack of news that is making this spring up? Or do you think that there's actually something there? And I definitely go you probably never address us. That I know much of. With the way the family has been private about everything going on in their lives, I actually do not think they're going to tell us anything about the whole story. Probably on their Instagram stories, they'll put some clues so we can put pieces and pieces together until we almost run mad. But I don't think they're going to come out and address any of those things. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think it is just clout? Do you think cheating is the new norm? Like, everyone can do it. If you can stay, fine. If you cannot stay, take a walk. Nobody's forcing your leg in any relationship. You must not stay in a relationship. If your significant other is cheating on you and you cannot stay, please leave. And if you like, try my tips. Whatever the result is, it is up to you. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget, if you are not surprised with this channel, just do it already. Thank you for watching. and.